going. What's going on, crew? I'm at the hotel in Pittsburgh. We have a wedding today. 13 hour road trip yesterday, full pull. Um, we only stopped for like 30 minutes total on, on the drive. So uh, my body is a little stiff and I'm working out the kinks this morning. I made up this new pattern, so I just wanna show you what I'm making up. I explore the edges of movement every day. I make up new stuff literally every day. I think it's important to uh, lean into pain. You know, you hear me talk a lot about avoiding pain and don't going into pain, and that's important because we don't wanna spend a lot of time antagonizing where we have pain. However, we gotta lean into it a little bit. We gotta lean into that pain. We gotta experience it and find the edges of it. And really what we're doing is we're looking to um, work the edges of where uh, our body has restrictions. So, uh, all right, so I'm gonna kind of get into this move. I don't even know how I got into the pattern. Let me see if I can find it again. Uh, I do like to do a little foam rolling of the quads like you see me doing right now. Uh, I don't do a lot of foam rolling. I do it when I feel my body asks for it. And after a whole day of driving, it definitely was asking for some foam rolling today. And from there, I tend to move my way into the hip. Now, as I started getting into the hip this morning, this is what I began to find was that I felt like I wanted to make this a bigger angle into my SI joint on the, on, on the right side over here. And let's see if I can find this pattern. Turned it into a balance pattern. All right. So I'm gonna press, I've got this foam roller into my right TFL. And uh, as I swap legs, the balance brings me here with my hand. So now I've got my right leg reaching far behind me, trying to reach those medicine balls back in the corner. I'm in a big hip flexion with my left leg. And I'm pushing my left hand and my right hand towards you, so to speak. And I'm elevating out of the floor with my right shoulder. So I'm driving into this right shoulder, but with length. Crew, length always wins. So now here's, let's call this point A of this move. Got my torso in a place of workload, all right, allowing for some rotation. Now I'm gonna swap out these legs and as I balance this back out, boom, I need to now press my palms together. So this is sort of like a big old hip flexion movement. Boom. Now this side for me feels like the student, for those of you who know Freeborn Neck Protocol, we typically pick a student side and a teacher side. This side to me feels really different than the other side. The other side feels like there's a lot of good connections from the tips of my fingers to the tips of my toes. Okay, this is what I was adding. Now, I got, now I'm adding this bigger rotation down here evolving the move. Not gonna let this knee really touch the floor because I wanna feel this sort of torso component. But I've got this here. Balance, 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 right? Press, 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 elevate length. Boom. So I'm gonna try to take it a little farther. Oh. 
We're looking for a point A and a point B in a pattern. I'm gonna get the other side so you can see what it looks like on the other side. This is the side I would call the teacher. Need to get this foam roller over here a little bit. So I have clearance on this, this right leg. More, all right. Every part of this, we want to find pandiculation. Right here. Right here. All right, peeps, make it weird, come on. 